Hey friends, welcome back to Homestead on a Prayer. In case you're new here, I'm Jennifer. Today we're going to be talking all about cucumbers. Now it's the time of year when I like to get started with my cucumber seeds. Cucumbers are one of those vegetables that people have a lot of different opinions about the best way to grow. Basically today we're going to specifically be talking about the benefits of direct sowing your cucumbers versus the benefits of starting them ahead of time and transplanting them. And there are some pros and cons of each. I'm gonna share with you guys what I'm doing and why. And then finally, I'm going to share with you guys the varieties of cucumbers that I'm going to be growing this year. So in the past, I've kind of always been on the team of direct sowing your cucumbers. I mean, there are a lot of advantages to direct sowing. One is that it's just easier. I mean, it's a lot easier to just find the spot where your cucumber is going to grow, stick the seed in the ground, give it a little bit of water, and then just let it grow. As opposed to starting it to transplant, which means that you have to still stick the seed in the ground, you're just sticking it in little ground contained in a pot. Then you have to transplant it out into its space, and then you kind of have to nurse it through a little bit of transplant shock. So there are a lot of really big advantages to direct sowing cucumbers, which is why that's pretty much what I've always done in the past. Now, there are also a couple advantages to starting your cucumbers in a separate pot to transplant out. One is that you can start them a couple weeks earlier if you're gonna be starting them inside, and that will give you a little bit of a jump on the growing season. Now, that's kind of a, kind of a mixed bag there. I find, honestly, cucumbers don't really like the roots messed with. They don't, I've got this giant bumblebee buzzing around my head. I don't know if you could see that or not, but apparently he's gonna, or she's gonna be joining us in and out in this video. So I find that cucumbers don't really like to have their roots messed with, and so they tend to sulk a little bit more when they're transplanted, as opposed to something that's a little more forgiving, say a tomato or even a pepper. Those are a little bit easier to transplant. And so because of that, because of that little sulking period of transplant shock when you first transplant your cucumber, you don't actually usually get as much of a jump on the growing season as you would think with starting it in a pot. I think, at least in my experience, the biggest advantage to starting cucumbers early in a pot is you get to avoid pests. Now, last year, in the past, I've always had pretty good success direct sowing my cucumbers. I have what I've done a lot of times is direct sow most of them, start a few inside to get a jump on the harvest. And honestly, I, I probably get a little bit of an earlier harvest, but not too much, not enough that I really felt it was worth doing. And so for the past couple years, I've been just exclusively direct sowing my cucumbers. But what happened last year, and if you were following along with me last year, then you saw all this, you, you saw as it happened, and you know why my cucumbers were very late last year, which is that I had some sort of unidentified pest that was going through my garden and as soon as my cucumber seeds would sprout in the garden it would just go along and nip the tops off every single one um, i'm not sure if it was an insect or a bird i don't really know what it was but either way it really wanted to target my cucumbers as soon as they sprouted so i kept sowing them they kept germinating and i would come out i would see them then the next day i would come out and their leaves would be missing the tops would be nipped off of all of them again and so what i ultimately ended up doing was starting some other cucumbers in little pots on my deck. So I started them outside so they didn't have to deal with being hardened off, but I started them in pots, kind of similar to this setup here. And by starting them in pots on my deck, whatever pest was bothering them in the garden didn't find them on my deck. And that way I was able to grow them to a transplantable size and actually get them into the garden and actually get a harvest. Now it was definitely a later harvest and most likely a smaller harvest than it would have been if, if I'd been successful with direct sowing them. So what I'm going to do this year is most likely a little bit of both. You saw the pots that I have here in this tray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start enough cucumber seedlings for all the cucumbers that I want to grow in my garden. I'm going to leave this tray out on my deck and that way they're going to come up acclimated to the sun and the wind and the outdoor conditions already. I won't have to deal with hardening them off. I will of course have the ability to bring them inside in case we get any unexpected late frosts, so that is an advantage. But that way I will hopefully be able to protect them from the pests. And I think what I'm probably also going to do is direct sow some cucumber seeds in the spots where I want them to grow as well. I'm not going to be sowing those today, I'm only going to do the ones in pots today. Because we aren't officially past our last frost date yet. Based on the weather report, I don't think we'll be getting another frost this year. But just to play it safe, I'm going to wait another week or two to start my cucumbers outside. And then at that point, I'll direct sow some. 
but that way if they don't take if they get eaten by a pest just like they did last year I will have my transplanting cucumbers all ready to go and that way I'm not going to be set back now you know what's probably going to happen is that my direct sown cucumbers will do great this year and my cucumbers and pots will do great and then I'll have tons of extra plants so I may end up with extra to give away we'll see what happens but either way I figure this way I'm going to hedge my bets and that way I'm going to make sure I avoid that kind of weird cucumber year I had last year so I have this self-watering tray set up here basically it has these little containers in it I have 24 containers because I'm planning on growing 24 cucumber plants this year and I have a pretty big variety of types that I'm planning to grow this year so I'm gonna go ahead and share those with you guys and then we can get planting our cucumber seeds so this year I'm actually growing a bigger variety of cucumbers than I usually grow I got some of these as free samples or grab bag items and that made me really want to try them plus I'm growing a few tried and true favorites so because of that I actually have seven types of cucumbers that I'm growing this year most years I grow maybe two or three kinds the first cucumber that I'm growing is the lemon cucumber now this one's basically a snacking cucumber my son really likes this cucumber and as you can see I mean you can tell where they got their name they're round and kind of yellowish toned I find that these plants produce quite a few they make a really good snack it's really easy to grab and go as part of a, an on-the-go lunch and you can also slice them up and put them in salad so they're really good for that kind of thing the next type that I'm growing is one that I grew for the first time last year but it very quickly became I think my favorite cucumber variety and that is the silver slicer cucumber now I had heard really good reviews of this cucumber multiple places and it just looked so beautiful also that I really wanted to try it and it definitely lived up to the hype this produced really well for me it produced I think it was probably the highest producing cucumber in my garden maybe with the exception of the lemon cucumber but even that was pretty close and these were great for fresh eating and I found I didn't actually can any pickles last year but I did make some quick refrigerator pickles with these and they worked really well for that too so I think that these would probably hold up for canning just as well as a regular pickling cucumber these produced well they produced for a long season this was my cucumber that produced the longest into the season once all my other cucumbers were done I still had a couple plants of these that were still going strong and additionally the skin never turned bitter even when it got hot and we actually had a pretty significant rainfall shortage here in Connecticut last summer and this cucumber held up to that and did really well some of my other cucumber varieties that I found did suffer due to that lack of rain I did my best to keep up with watering but I know I didn't do as well as I should have and the silver slicer did really well despite that so the next variety is new to me and that is the white wonder cucumber so this will be the first year I'm growing it now at the end of last season I want to say last fall and my gardener which is where these seeds are from did kind of an end of the season clearance where you could buy a grab bag of seeds at a significant discount so I went ahead and got that grab bag and this was one of the seeds in that grab bag and I figured this looks very similar to the silver slicer which I loved so I decided to go ahead and give this one a try too and maybe I'll do a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison and just see how they stack up next to each other now the next variety that I have this will be my second year growing this variety I gave it a try last year that's the China Jade cucumber now this cucumber was not incredibly successful for me last year but again I don't think I can really blame that on the variety because I had a very poor cucumber year in general between getting off to such a late start with those pests that keep eating my cucumbers combined with uh, we basically had a drought here in Connecticut I know we went most of the summer without any rain and cucumbers really like moisture so even though I tried my best to water it's not as good as rainfall so I'm gonna give this one a try and hopefully we have a friendlier cucumber year this season and I can hopefully give that one a much better review at the end of the season now this cucumber variety pretty much the same story I tried this one last year it wasn't really all that successful although I have heard that this particular variety is supposed to stand up really well to drought so I'm gonna give this one another try this one really wasn't on my radar at all until last season as you can see I got this as a free seed kind of a thank you that came with my Baker Creek seed order from last year so I'm going to give that a try this year and we're going to see how it does so I have two more cucumber varieties that I'm going to be growing the first one is the Armenian cucumber now if I'm correct on this I think this botanically is not actually a cucumber I think it's actually a melon but people categorize it as a cucumber because it grows similarly to a cucumber it tastes kind of like a cucumber and you use it more like you'd use a cucumber than how you'd use a melon so because of that I 
people call it a cucumber. This is going to be my first year trying this one. I have heard amazing things about this for the last couple years. So many people say that they love it. It's their favorite cucumber. Despite that, I hadn't ordered seeds for it. I wasn't planning on trying it this year. But my friend Katie over from Mayfield Ranch, you can see her cute little sticker here, sent me these seeds. So I decided to go ahead and give them a try. So I'm really excited to grow these this year. So the final variety that I'm growing, as you can see I have a baggie of seeds that I saved myself from actually two years ago. These are from the homemade pickles pickling cucumber. Now there's a lot of pickling cucumbers on the market. In my experience they're pretty similar but homemade pickles probably does slightly better for me in my area so that's the one that I've been growing the last few years. I've been really happy with it and incidentally if you ever save seeds from your cucumbers I'm gonna pull this out so you can see the seeds in here. This is all from one cucumber and this isn't all of them because I used a lot of these last year as well. So cucumbers Saving seeds is a great bang for your buck when it comes to cucumbers because one cucumber will be packed full of seeds. I mean, that's more seeds than you'd get in a couple seed packets just from one cucumber. So one variety that I am planning to save seeds from this year is the Silver Slicer. Any, because that is an open pollinated variety, meaning that I can save the seeds and get the same, get the same cucumber again. So those are the cucumbers that I'm going to be growing this year. So basically I think how I'm going to sow them I need to decide, am I gonna put one seed in each pot or two? Usually I put two seeds in each pot and then that way if one doesn't germinate, I have a backup. So I think that's what I'll do. And then technically you are supposed to, technically you are supposed to cut off one of the seedlings and just let one grow. So I'm going to decide if I'm gonna do that or not. But for today, we're just going to sow the seeds. So when it comes to sowing pretty much any seeds, you should be able to find all the information you need right here on your seed packet. So here, for example, I can see that I want to sow these seeds about one inch deep. I can see some of these are more for growing than seed sowing, but they like full sun, they're container friendly, and they are climbing. So these things do make a difference when you're sowing seeds if you're direct sowing it in the place where it's going to ultimately end up because unless you have a bush type of cucumber, they do like to climb, so you want to set them up near some sort of support. So this also tells me that it takes about six to 10 days to germinate, so I know that I can be looking for my seeds to come up around then. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get started sowing my seeds. I'll be sowing these about an inch deep, all these varieties that I showed you, and then I'm gonna set them up on my deck and we're going to wait for them to germinate. So I will definitely keep you guys updated about how these seeds do. I will definitely be showing you the seedlings in some garden tours, and then maybe I'll see if I end up direct sowing some cucumbers too, we can do kind of a side-by-side -side comparison as to how the direct sown cucumbers do compared to the transplanted cucumbers. Also, if you guys have any tried and true cucumber varieties, especially if it's a variety that I didn't mention, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Or if you have experience with any of these varieties, especially the ones that are new to me, I would love to hear how your experience has been. Because you know me, I'm always looking for new seed varieties. You know, just when you think you're done sowing seeds for the season, something else comes up and you can never really sow too many seeds. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're having a great day and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye guys, I'll see you soon.